Hi, today we're going to have a look at the 2017 departmental final account of a sole trader, which is question four on the paper. For this question, we are given a trial balance, we are given some additional notes, and first of all, we are asked to prepare a departmental trading and profit and loss account for the year end, and then part B is a theory question, which we will deal with after. So to do part A, first of all, we are going to have a look at the notes. Note one just tells us the closing stock for ladies wear and men's wear of 28,000 and 17,000 for the going cost of sales. Note two says insurance was for the year ended the 28th of the 2nd, 2017. Two of those months are for next year, which means 10 of those months relate to this year. So if we work out this year um, insurance, we get the total insurance from the trial balance of 8,400 divided by 12, for the year and multiply by 10 to get 10 months, which works out to be 7,000, and that will go in less expenses. Similarly, note three, advertising. The advertising payment was for a 15 month campaign, which began on the 1st of the 3rd, 2016. So, as it began on the 1st of March, 10 of those months again are for this year, with the next five months being prepaid. The 10 months for to calculate the 10 months for this year, the total advertising from the trial balance is 6,000 because for 15 months we divide by 15. And again, 10 of those months are for this year, so we multiply by 10, which gives us 4,000. And again, advertising will go in less expenses. Note 4 says depreciation of delivery vans is 20% of cost. Well, the cost of delivery vans in the trial balance is 40,000. Uh, by 20% is 8,000. And again, that will go in less expenses. Buildings. The, in note four, it says buildings are depreciated at two percent of cost. The cost of buildings in the trial balance are four hundred and forty thousand, and two percent of four hundred and forty thousand is eight thousand eight hundred. Note five relates to mortgage interest, and it says provision should be made for a year's mortgage interest. Well, the mortgage in the trial balance is a hundred and fifty thousand. It's a four percent mortgage. So 150,000 by 4% is 6,000, and that will go down at the bottom of the PL before we get to net profit. Note 6 says floor space of the firm is to be divided as follows Ladies' wear is 800 square meters, and men's wear is 200 square meters. Well, if ladies' wear is 800 square meters and the total is 1,000 square meters, then ladies' wear accounts for 80% of the total area. Similarly, men's wear is 200 square meters out of the total 1000 square meters which accounts for 20 percent of the total area note 7 says expenses applicable to both departments should be divided on the basis of sales or floor space where appropriate so expenses are divided either based on sales or floor space if the expense is divided based on sales then for ladies wear the sales for ladies' wear are 300,000 and the sales for men's wear are 200,000. So in total, sales are 500,000. So ladies' wear is 300,000 out of 500,000, which is 60%, and men's wear is 200,000 out of 500,000, which is 40%. And as above, floor space, 80% relates to ladies' wear and 20% relates to men's wear. And these will be used when we are dividing out our expenses between the two departments. So, to start the trading profit and loss account. First of all, from the trial balance, we can see that the sales of ladies' wear are 300,000, and men's wear in the trial balance is 200,000, which gives us a total of 500,000. Sales returns. There are no sales returns in this question. Sometimes there may be. So with the zero for ladies wear, zero for men's wear, and total again will be zero. So sales less sales returns, total gives me 500,000. Ladies wear will be 300,000 and men's wear 200,000. Less cost of sales. Opening stocks we will get again from the trial balance. So opening stock of ladies wear is 25,000. And opening stock of men's wear from the trial balance is 16,000. 
and these come to a total opening stock of 41,000. Purchases of ladies' wear from the trial balance is 210,000. Purchase of men's wear from the trial balance is 140,000, which gives me total purchases of 350,000. Purchases returns of there are no purchases returns of ladies' wear. Purchases returns of men's wear are returns out, as they're called in the trial balance, are 3,000. So they will go in minus 3,000 because they will reduce their purchases. Carriage inwards for ladies' wear from the trial balance is 4,000 euro, and there's no carriage in of men's wear. And let's total these. Now, import duty, there's no import duty in ladies' wear. Import duty for men's wear is 1,000 euro, which gives me a total of 1,000 euro. So now I'm going to add these down. So that gives me 393,000. That gives me 239,000. And this totals 154,000. Now I have to take away my closing stock, which I get from note one to the question. Closing stock of ladies' wear is 28,000, and closing stock of men's wear is 17,000. This gives me total closing stock for 45,000. So over here in the right hand column, I'm going to put my total cost of sales. So 393 minus 45. Gives me 348, 239 minus 28,000 leaves me 211,000, and 154,000 minus 17,000 leaves me with 137,000. And my sales above here, less my cost of sales, will leave me my gross profit. So the total is 152. The ladies were, the gross profit is 89. And for men's wear, the gross profit is 63,000. Now I have to take away my expenses, and these expenses will all be divided out based on sales or floor sales. So, first of all, I'll put in the total expenses and then I will divide them out. So, salaries and general expenses is coming from the trial balance, which is 75,600. Advertising. I calculated for the year up here. Advertising is 4,000 and insurance is 7,000. So I can put those in now. So advertising is 4,000 and insurance is 7,000. Light and heat, there's no change to. So light and heat is coming from the trial balance, 10,300. Cleaning again is coming from the trial balance, 9,100. Depreciation of delivery vans, we worked out over here. Depreciation of delivery vans worked out to be 8,000. And the depreciation of buildings, again, we worked out over here to be 8,800. So now we have to divide out these expenses. So salaries and general expenses is divided out based on sales. Remember, if it's sales, 60% and 40%. Floor space is 80% and 20%. So for sales, it's going to be the total multiplied by 60% and the total multiplied by 40%. Again, advertising is divided out based on sales, so it's 4,000 by 60% and 4,000 by 40%. Insurance is uh, related to floor space, so it's going to be 7,000 by 80% and 7,000 by 20%. Light and heat, again, it's more appropriate to divide this out based on the floor space, so it's 10,300 by 80% and 10,300 by 20%. Cleaning is more appropriately divided based on floor space again, so it's going to be 9,100 
multiply by 80% and 9,100 multiplied by 20%. Depreciation of delivery vans. Delivery vans has to do with sales, so it's more appropriate to divide those out based on sales. So it's going to be 8,000 multiplied by 60% and 8,000 multiplied by 40%. And depreciation of buildings again is floor space because um, the more floor space, the more buildings you have, the more floor, sp floor space you'll have. So that's going to be divided by as a floor space. So it's 8,800 by 80%. 8,800 by. 10%. So now over here on the right hand side, I'm going to total all of these expenses. So the total column. 122,800 ladies wear will total 8720 and men's wear will total 42080. For my operating profit is my gross profit less my expenses. So 152 minus 122800. Is only twenty nine thousand two hundred. That's the total. For ladies' wear, it's eighty nine minus eighty seven two zero, which is eight two eight zero. And for men's wear, sixty three thousand minus forty two zero eight zero, which leaves me with twenty nine two zero. Now I have to take away my mortgage interest. For my total mortgage interest, I calculated earlier to be six thousand. And that is divided out based on floor space. So 80% of it will go into ladies' wear, and 20% of it will go into men's wear. So then to calculate my net profit, I'm going to get my operating profit minus my mortgage interest will leave me with my net profit. So my total is 23,200. Ladies wear comes to 3480 and men's wear comes to 19720. And that is the departmental trading profit and loss account done. The second part of the question asks what recommendations would you make as a manager of the Byrne family's firm based on the prepared accounts? Note retail shopping space is renting for 35 euro per square meter. Size the ladies' wear department and expand the men's wear department as four euro thirty five profit earned per square meter in the ladies' wear section is far less than the ninety eight euro sixty profit per square meter in the men's section. How did they get the four euro thirty five? Well, they just got the profit for the ladies' wear, which is three thousand four hundred and eighty, and divided it by eight hundred square meters gives you profit of per square meter four euro thirty five. Similarly with the men's wear, they got the profit for the men's wear of 19,720 and divided up by 200 square meters. So the profit there was 98,60 per square meter. They could also rent out the ladies wear department as a 35 euro per square meter, which would give them 28 grand earned from rent would be far greater than the profit made per square meter of 3,480. So they could rent out um, their 800 uh, square meters at 35 euro square meter that's where the 28,000 would come from and that's just compared um, to the 800 square meters by the 435 per square meter which gives me 3,480. They could also close the business and rent out all of the floor space as the rental income of 35,000 or 35 euro per square meter is greater than the, than the combined profit from the two departments of 20 3,200. So they were, uh, between the two departments, they have a thousand square meters. If they rented that out at 35 euro per square meter, that would give them 35,000 euro, which would be greater than the profit from the two uh, departments combined. The profit from the ladies were, as we saw from the PL account, was 3,480, and the profit from the men's were, as we saw, was 19,720. So those combined leaves with a profit of 23,200 which would be still less than if they rented it out at 35 euro per square meter. 
So that's the end of the question for today. Thank you for listening.